Hey guys and welcome back in a new video. In today's video I have an interesting video for you and for me as always and it's going to be a full review. I wouldn't call this like a review in details. I would just call it a review after giving this fragrance two wearings and just like uh, giving it a decision about what my thoughts are going to be about this fragrance which is Victorioso from Alhambra the clone of uh, Invictus from Paco Rabanne and if you watch any video I post you will know that I did an unboxing recently of this fragrance and I say that it wasn't like a like a love for me I just liked it it wasn't something special I still think that it is not something special about the scent but for the price I really do think it is special especially if the Invictus is $80 fragrance and this one is us just $15 and it is perfect a perfect clone smells so similar and I will just tell you why I like you should pick this one up instead of just picking up Invictus and keep in mind this is a $15 fragrance the Invictus is $80 you can find it for for less probably 70 but it's still an expensive fragrance this one is 15 to 20 dollars I will let you know everything and before I start the video I just want to thank you for your support as always and please like this video so we get recommended to other people let's get this video to 100 likes or 200 likes so Alhambra Victorioso and if you saw my first impressions about this one I just liked it it wasn't something special but after that as I always tell you give this um, Latafa or this Middle Eastern fragrances time after you try them for the first time because they really really do change and this is what happened exactly with this one the first time I tried it I smelled something like extremely different that one what I am smelling right now and let me give you a quick spray also the sprayer is really amazing for the price the the like the presentation the cap the bottle the color everything is good Damn, but there is nothing better than the scent actually this fragrance is just so good it is one of the best summer fragrances that you will ever try if you want just something sweet sedu not seductive sweet and sexy and just fresh aquatic with with not a depth but something just that I don't know something cheap that will make you smell nice this is exactly what this is for something cheap that smells like an expensive designer fragrance for $15 I just can't believe that and also about the performance let me talk about the fragrance and the scent first I tried Invictus I had it I have the Invictus Intense they do share some similarities but this one just seems to be sweeter than the original Invictus and it seems to be maybe a little bit not as fresher and not as lighter it does lean more sweeter with that bubblegum note that is Invictus is known for in here it's just more prominent which is even better the sweetness in here is up front with the freshness is not like Invictus Invictus has like a mix of both sweetness and freshness this one is sweeter and not less fresher but just that the sweetness dominant this fragrance more than the freshness it still have that nice freshness like smelling classy and stuff so this is the I do prefer the smell of this one over the Invictus just because it is sweeter and it is fuller like Invictus is a little bit lighter this one is is more full like in your face like a punchy sweetness and I prefer it about that and especially for the price this is $15 and also I prefer the longevity and the performance this one because I think it performs way better not just better I think it performs way better than the the Invictus especially the newer batches of the Invictus this one performs way better it did last eight hours on me I'm talking about like when I could smell it like uh, like directly like I could get full whiffs of it like really smells performs really strong for the summer guys a beast mode summer fragrance like I'm not hyping it up or exaggerating but it did last a really long time on me the performance whatever I move I could smell it or if you want something that is sweet fresh that you can enjoy and which fragrance notes are you going to smell like you got you are going to smell a citrus bubblegum fragrance that's all with with a little bit of a 
Ambroxan, Amber Grease and something resinous but not very resinous something that just gives this fragrance a little bit of that sexy sweetness and the tone like amber and some violet leaf to give it a little bit of an aquatic vibe but this is not like Invictus it's a little bit different and even better and someone on Facebook also when I posted about this fragrance he also told me that he per preferred it over the Invictus because it performs better and also the smell is, uh, is different and it is guys wow this is great I'm not a huge fan of the Invictus to be honest I still don't think like that the fragrance the smell of it is something special or unique I wouldn't say that but I would think I would say that for the price it smells of a high quality of a good ingredients and especially for the performance and for the summer it is a good fragrance so don't get me wrong this is nothing special nothing unique it smells like Invictus Invictus already is so popular everybody with Invictus and has it and if he hasn't doesn't have Invictus he probably has Zara Wanted or some other fragrances that smell like it and also don't judge this of the first spray as I told you and give it some time as I tell you always these Middle Eastern fragrances they they do really need time this is one of them and the opening when you spray it in the opening it is different like it does change a lot give it 10 minutes to smell the real thing because at the opening you get a little bit of uh, something like synthetic a little bit but I wouldn't say really synthetic but something that is just like a, like a cleaner or something at the opening but I wouldn't say it is bad quality Invictus also does have a little bit of that uh, synthetic citruses it does have it too but at the right down it just smells better gets better and gets like fuller thicker and smoother and this is not about just bubblegum it does have bubblegum but it does have that ambery sexiness it just smells nice masculine sweet and beautiful at the same time like it is a really nice fragrance the performance it what amazed me also and why I love this because you can't go wrong with this don't go buy Invixis I I just wouldn't ever buy it because there is this one $15 smell better and just performs better I don't think I need something else so guys this was the video I didn't want to make this video so long for you but summary of what I said in this video that this is a beast mode summer fragrance with a good performance and it smells uh, different than Invixis like it's like a little bit improved because it is sweeter and more fuller not just a light fragrance that you can't even detect this is fresh and sweet but like it has the punch of fruitiness and of sweetness that lasts and does just make this fragrance better and about the performance it performs better than the Invictus and the fourth thing that this is not something special if you are looking to smell different I don't I don't think that this is for you but you could pick the the Alhambra Glossy Bowl the the clone of the Lobolo Parfum if you want something special I would say that one is special you can find the video of it down in the description like I did the review of it you can go and watch it and you can go and watch some of my other clones and videos that I did because I talked about a lot of great underrated clones that I don't think you should spend your money on uh, on expensive fragrances and that's all thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video subscribe and like the video and tell me which videos you want to see next thank you so much and see you in the next video